time to do an upload on gear changing. Not necessarily how to change gear, but when to change gear. Lots of students seem to hold themselves in low gears for quite a long time with really high revs. Even when they're travelling along at 30 miles an hour, for example, some students are still in second gear, whilst I'd be in third or fourth, depending on the bike. To make it smoother and less responsive on the throttle, so if you go over bumps, for example, you're not going to catch the throttle. And you're also going to be able to hold your speed more steadily, rather than every minor movement of the throttle is going to lose you speed. One of the problems we have is that students regularly drop below the speed limit and find it hard to maintain the speed limit. And that's usually because they're in the wrong gear at that time. First gear is for moving off and stopping. So as you're bringing the bike down to a stop, you should be putting it into first gear only if you are actually stopping. Lots of students put the bike into first gear too early when they're slowing down. So they're doing second gear speeds, yet they've put the bike into first gear already. And the danger with doing that is that if you then don't stop and you need to reintroduce the clutch, and thus the gear that you've selected, if you're in too low a gear for the speed that you're travelling at, you're more likely to lock your rear wheel up. So try to slow down with your brakes first, and then choose the gear that's appropriate to the speed that you've slowed down to. So as we approach a junction, we start by rolling off the throttle, then a little bit of brakes, down to second. I may not need to stop first because I am going to stop. Otherwise I would have taken the junction in second. Using the clutch to keep that turn nice and tight in first, and then up into second. Using the power in second, to get up into the early 20 mile an hours. Just keeping my speed down between the vehicles there in case there are any obstacles or vehicles coming out of gaps. Now I'm at 30 miles an hour, I'm all the way up into fourth gear. And that's quite comfortable on this bike, you might find it's third or fourth, depending on whether you're riding a twin or an inline four. But even on the twin engine MT-07s, I would usually be in fourth gear at 30 miles an hour, depending on whether there's the potential for there to be hazards for me to need to slow down for, in which case I'd keep it in third. As we approach the junction, it's mirrors, throttle off both brakes. As I'm slowing down, I'm coming down into second. I'm not stopping, so I'm going to keep it in second and use second. I'm going to turn left at the lights. And I've dropped to first because I slowed down in anticipation to stop didn't stop, so I've used first to get going, up to second, up to third at about 22-23 miles an hour. I'm going to hold it in third for the bend, mirrors, and now fourth, because the road ahead is clear, it's wide, and I can hold a nice steady speed. Between 25 and 30 miles an hour, quite happily in fourth gear on this bike, it's quite happy, it's not chugging. It's not asking me to change down a gear. Mirrors, going to come down to third. Down to second, because I'm at about 10 miles an hour. Not stopping, so I'm going to stay in second. I am stopping, so I'm going to come down to first. First is for stopping and moving off. I'm going to keep it in first gear for anything between naught and about 8 or 9 miles an hour. No point going up into second gear when we're travelling at less than 10 miles an hour because the bike will just try to go faster when you can't actually go faster. So first is good for your slow moving traffic like when you're in a queue. About 12 miles an hour, second gear. 20 miles an hour, third gear. Fourth gear, it was about 26, 27 miles an hour on this bike, it was perfectly happy. I'm going to bring my speed down, down to third, still happy, not chugging, and back up to fourth. This bike's actually happy in fifth or sixth at 30 to 32 miles an hour, but for the purposes of this video I'm just going to stick to talking about third and fourth gear at 32 miles an hour because most bikes, and most bikes that you learn on will be happier with that. These bikes are slightly different. So both brakes.
clutch when I'm down to about 15 miles an hour, the clutch can come in from fourth gear and just stay in, and I can come down through the gears sequentially at the appropriate speed as I'm slowing down. Second gear to turn, so rather than turning in first, we're going to turn in second using the clutch. And then it's mirrors indicator off, and if the black car hadn't pulled out, we'd have been accelerating nice and positively to get up to speed. A lot of people take the tight turns in first gear, and then they have to get up into second gear before they're able to accelerate away from the junction. It's more efficient if you're in second to turn, and then you can use second to accelerate away from the junction. It enables you to make more progress earlier, so you can get away from the traffic behind you. This bike is still happy in fourth gear at 22 miles an hour, but most would be better off in third at 20 to 30, and then fourth from 30 to 40. Throttle first, then brakes, then when it needs me to pull the clutch in, the clutch comes in. Second gear now. I'm not going to go down to first because I'm not stopping. A lot of students would have gone down to first then and then had to go immediately back up to second. Looking ahead, there's a queue, so we're going to go up into third and just hold it steady. And the queue's starting to clear now, the bike's still happy in third. Just going to watch this yellow box junction. Second, I'm not going to go onto that yellow box just yet, so I can see the exit's clear. Third, watching for the um, zebra crossings. So third gear at 18 to 25 miles an hour. I could keep it in third all the way up to 30 miles an hour. Down to second for the mini roundabout because it's quite tight. Looks like I'm going to have to go relatively slowly. We don't have to indicate here, but I could have indicated if I'd wanted to. Holding it in the third for the bend, keeping my tyres out of what looks like a bit of diesel in the middle of the lane. Still in third for the bend. Once I'm out of the bend, if the road ahead is clear, I might pop it up into fourth. But there's a car braking in the distance, so there's no point changing gear just yet, because I'm likely to need to slow down again. Red lights ahead, so mirrors, throttle first, both brakes, clutch can come in, second gear at 12 miles an hour, first gear at about 6 miles an hour, planning where I stop behind the car. So we want to avoid putting the bike down into first gear at 20 or 15 miles an hour. And quite often if you do that, you'll hear the gearbox go bang is telling you that the engine's spinning too fast for the gear that you've just selected. So if you can hear your gearbox banging when you're changing down your gears, you're getting your gear changes wrong. First to move off, use a little bit of power in first, up into second, and restricted by the car accelerating in front, so I'm just going to stay back. I'm in third already. We're going to come up to the junction and turn left. So mirrors and signal lifesaver in position, throttle off and brakes, third gear, second on the approach, keeping my speed down just on my rear brake, good to go, good to go, double check, second, using the clutch, and then you can use the power in second to get away. Okay, and then I did a little block change up to fourth. Left at the roundabout. Slowing down through your gears, it's brakes, third, second, first. We want to be in the second gear before we get into this junction, so I'm in second nice and early. I've used a little bit of the power in first. And now I'm good to accelerate if the lorry gets on with it.
lots of students change up through their gears far too early when they're accelerating away from junctions so they barely use any of the power in first second or third gear and they find themselves sitting in third or fourth with no power left and we're still only doing about 15 to 20 miles an hour in a 30 or a 40 mile an hour speed limit so one of the things that we need to encourage you to do is to use the power in those lower gears even on a 125 there is power in first gear that can be there for you to use we use the cb125fs and they are really good bikes they're quite noisy but they have got plenty of power you just need to be brave and not be afraid to make a little bit of noise now i'm not saying you should be whacking your throttle wide open whatever you do with your throttle hand should be gently roll and gently roll it shouldn't be anything sudden so use the power in first use the power in second use the power in third and then i've block changed up to fifth because on this bike it wants to be in the higher gears and this is a cb 650r and they like to be in the top gears even at the lower speeds they're quite happy in those top gears but a twin engine won't be it'll be chugging at you so when you're accelerating away from a junction we're still not whacking the throttle open we're gently rolling it open and the ground is a little bit wet today but that's not stopping me from being positive in my acceleration i'm just being gentle and smooth with it whilst still being positive using a little of the power in first second bit more of the power no point changing up again we've got a red light so we'll gently ease off a little bit of brake stay in second use the clutch a little bit if we need to again we can use the clutch to keep the turn tight if we need to but i didn't need to on that occasion because it's opening up into a wider road fourth gear at 28 miles an hour so this bike's quite happy doing that bend coming up though so I'm going to ease off a little bit and do third gear just to hold the speed back a little bit for the bend I didn't need to brake on that occasion I didn't use the gears to slow the bike down I just rolled off let it slow down and then selected third what we don't want to hear is you using the gears to slow the bike down and if you do use the gears to slow the bike down you'll hear the revs come up every time you change gear and that's not what we want to hear So if as you're changing down the gears, it's going woo, woo, you're not doing it right. We hear that regularly outside our shop because we're on a long straight road coming down to a roundabout. Lots of motorbikes go past using their gears to slow the bike down. It's not an effective way to brake and it's not a smooth way to ride your motorbike. So in the aim of being super smooth, and being super efficient with your controls we want to use throttle first and then brakes to slow your bike down and then selecting the appropriate gear for the speed that you have slowed down to and again the problem with changing down your gear too early is that you are likely to lock your rear wheel up and that's not as safe as you could be so always try to match your gear to the speed that you're traveling at this bike is perfectly happy in fifth gear at 32 miles an hour but twin engines would be happier in third or fourth and depending on whether or not you can see the likelihood for you to need to slow down ahead that would be third and if you're on a long straight road where there's few hazards then probably fourth at 32 on a twin engine so when you are slowing down plan your gear changes to be for the correct speed that you're slowing down to at any point in time just in case you do actually need to reintroduce that gear and get going again so early mirrors easing off the throttle both brakes fourth gear third gear now i'm going to leave my clutch in use a little bit of power second gear first gear nice and slow and smooth rear brake to finish there was nobody behind me so it didn't matter if i slowed down a little bit early but it's good to leave yourself a nice little slow end to the stop so you can be super smooth on that rear brake so first gear to move off 
second. I'm going to keep it in second. This traffic's going to start to move off in a moment, back down to first. First to move off. Second. 20 miles an hour, third. Just going to hold it in third because of the queue of traffic ahead. There's no point going up into fourth because the bike will want to run into the traffic. <laughs> so it's going to gain too much speed by itself. And we actually want to hold it in third to hold the speed back a little bit until we can either see there's no further hazards ahead or the traffic's picked its speed up to the speed limit. Mirrors, just going to ease off a little bit. If I hold back I can see further ahead. If I get too close to these cars it's quite hard to plan ahead. Now using the power, let's get up to the speed limit and fourth. The road ahead is clear, so it's good to be in fourth. We can hold a nice steady 32. Planning ahead, mirrors, easing off, both brakes. Third, because I'm at 20 miles an hour. Holding it in third. Up to fourth, that was 27 miles an hour. And I'm going to hold it in fourth at 32 or 30 to 32, depending on what the traffic ahead does. Turning left at the traffic lights, so early mirrors, not going to signal till we're past the junction, easing off the throttle, both brakes, and down to 22, so third, just keep the clutch in now, second, 11, first, just before we stop, not getting too close to the car in front. And once again, I want to be in second gear before I actually make this turning. And that's so that the turn is easier to do in second. It's so it's not so sharp on the throttle and the clutch as we're coming around. And it's so that once I've completed the turn, I can then accelerate away if it's safe to do so. And it's easier to do that in second than it is to do it in first and then have to pop it up into second. So from this far back, I'm probably going to be in second by the time I pass these traffic lights. So first to move off, second, use the clutch to turn to keep it nice and tight. So I'm on the bite point, clutch is through, indicator off and mirrors. Down to first, not getting too close to the little white car. Use some power in first to get away because we're in a straight line. Now second, now third, and fourth. Okay, ahead we've got the flashy amber signs for the 20 advisory for the school, but it's not busy with school children, so I'm going to hold my speed, reduce a little for the small gap, mirrors and pick it back up again. Getting a little bit busier now, so I'm going to drop my speed down a little bit. There's lots of kiddies about, lots of mums. Mirrors, we're easing off. We're down to third, we're down to second, the lights are changing so we're going to hold second, revs before clutch, 